Oh my God! Radio in every room. <laughs> Liberty, New York. Wow, it's perfect. We stayed at this Motel Six or something along the. Oh yeah, yeah. Actually, my sister, who's out there, she and I were in Liberty, New York once, and it was truly one of the most frightening cities. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I agree. It's Aptly frightening. named, though. Yeah. You you're, can't get out of there fast enough. I yeah. mean, they went into a drugstore, and I was like, I'll wait for you in the trunk, because yeah. I'm not... <laughs> yeah. Liberty, New York, where you're free from feeling safe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, one, one more here, striped shirt. Why one more? Look at I don't know, what, because it's almost midnight. I mean, right. It is? I mean, if people... Yeah, it's late. Sorry to make you check your phones. Uh, see, if you don't have a cell phone, you don't know. No, I don't know. Let me go watch. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to know, wait a second, I'm not going to live to be 100, first of all. Oh, 110. I don't want to live to be that old. No, I don't want to live to be that old. And you want to know how well I'm going to offend people when I'm 100? Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll just dress like a teenager when I'm 100. I'm best going to start playing teenagers on TV when I'm 100. I'll, I love, always love playing older, and then I thought, God, what am I going to do when I'm older? Then I'll play younger. Oh, yeah. Put those Jerry outfits yeah. on. Yeah. Cooking naked. <laughs> TV show. So you don't mind taking a few more? Yeah, I'll guess, take or? a couple more. Okay, a couple just more. Just because Any, everyone's here and I feel right, bad. Yes? I know. Well, the original idea was I just wanted to do an after-school specials. I mean, I just wanted to do them as they were already written and everything. And then Colbert had the idea for me to learn the wrong lesson, and then Danello had the idea of me being older, and then he found that Flory Fisher story. Um, and then that's when we're like, great, we'll take this background. You know, so originally it wasn't really... We didn't have her yet, you know? We had the idea first, and then we found, found Floyd, which was great, right? I mean, she looked like Mike Dukakis, and that was my, <laughs> that was my look in the, in the pilot, and then it was just too much. Well, yeah, but I was, wow, when I saw that. I mean, Paul's so good at finding stuff like that. And so many lines you took verbatim, right? Oh, From, yeah, like, what's your favorite color? I like bone and beige and bone and beige. Um, I had hepatitis about six times. It's like, you're such a liar. The Negro on the back with the beads. <laughs> the Negro on the back. With the beads. Part Indian. Uh, <laughs> uh, back, the Negro on the back. <laughs> Oh, what haven't potential. I used yet? Well, I just bought a wig. It's, a, it's made out of human hair, and it's a little bald on top. I wore it on Fallon last time I did it. It's a beautiful... My, my bedroom's oh. like a haunted dollhouse. That's the theme of it. And so I really wanted to invest a lot of money into having a real... Like an art piece. A piece a wig. It cost me $3,000. And I, when I flew to North Carolina to pick it up at the School of Art down there, and I got a tour of the prosthetics department and the wig department, and it hangs in my bedroom beautifully. So I wore it on Fallon. Alan, and that was fun. The only, I just, and that's the only time. So I'm, I'm anxious to bring it alive. I, I don't know who, what the character is yet, but you know, I go to bed with my eyes uh, wide open, yeah. and think of you know who is this character going to be. So that's my latest, and it fits me like a glove. It's perfect. Yeah. It's except when I wear my glasses, I feel like that guy from Wayne's World, one of the Wayne brother, you know, with like. Garth. Garth, yeah. And I was like, oh no, I have to wear this wig and I can't wear glasses, so. It's too obvious to go down the hippie route. It looks like I rescued dogs, so maybe I should do it with like dog bites all over my body. Might be good, might be good for a Carrie remake. Yeah, it's a, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's it's a, a Carrie wig, it's yeah. It's a creepy wig. It's a, yeah. I saw that appearance. All right, one more. <laughs> Someone's pointing over here. There's a, oh, okay. Where do you get all of your Instagram photos? Do you like edit them yourself? I have, I collect, I, 
I have a million pictures, but lately I've been reposting ones that I like from other people, trying to throw, you know, the support around a little bit. I just, you know, I have a lot of pictures, and I worked on two books that were, like, very visual. They're like, I really thought of illiterate people when I made them, thinking, I want to do a book that you don't have to read it. You can look at the picture, and it'll trigger an idea or inspire you. And so, um, and I just, I just collect a lot of images and stuff. I'm Amy Sedaris, right? That's your Instagram name? It is. Follow her. It's oh, wait, now I'm going to get plug, all these Frank things. You might not like it. <laughs> I've, gotten, I've gotten letters from Instagram three times telling me they've sent me links to like eating disorders and um, health websites and they think I have a mental illness. And I'm like, why? I mean, three times I've had my hands Instagram's slapped. been emailing you. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. You're concerned. Well, Amy, uh, if, you have any, if you want to hang out if you, if, and talk to people... No, I'm out of here. Okay. You're out of here. Thank but you that's so much. Amy Sedaris, thank so you much. so much. Thank you so much. That's our Amy. show. Amy, Brian Stack, Richard Kind. Thank you guys for bearing with the technical difficulties and everything in the front. We're doing one more show here, May 21st, with Robert Klein and AJ Jacobs. But thank you so much. Rebecca Vigil, Dan Wrights, Andrew and Kyle Milady, Alex Brazell in the back there.